Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I was gonna say welcome to my video. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a full face makeup tutorial using the Bon Bons palette by Too Faced. You guys know that I got this not too long ago and I haven't had the time to do a makeup tutorial so here it is. I'm also going to be using some new drugstore products and just new products that I have and I haven't used. And I also will be doing swatches on the new NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks. I'm actually wearing one right now. They're sitting over there because I have them, you know, like all lined up according to the swatches that I just finished doing. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's so much, so much makeup going on that I, I can't even like handle it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Let me know what new products you guys are going to be picking up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. So I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. This palette is so pretty. We're going to start with the first shade. This is a transitional color and this one is Cashew Chew. That's kind of a tongue twister. But I'm going to take that on a big fluffy brush and I'm going to start blending that all over the crease. I really want this to help me diffuse the colors just so I don't have to blend too much. It really does help a lot when you apply a crease color. So I'm just taking that, like I said, on a big fluffy brush and I'm blending that back and forth. Now I'm going to move on to the next color, which is this cute little one, and it is called Almond Truffle. This one has a little bit more of like a mauve undertone, and you can see it a little bit more than the other one on my lid, just because the other one's a really neutral, taupey white. So I'm going to apply that as well all over the crease. Again, that's just going to help me blend all the colors and make it look really nice and gradient. After that, I'm going to take my third color, and this is Mocha. All I'm doing is really just like going back and forth and packing on the colors. I did zoom in a little bit just so you guys could see what I was doing. I felt like I was kind of far away, and you guys know that I usually like to bring you guys up close and personal to show you what I'm doing. So I'm applying that again pretty much to the crease, and I'm tapping it on first, just so I know that I get the most intensity on the outer corner, and then just... Ugh, bringing it in slowly. I need to like chill with my words because I speak too fast. So I'm blending that in and then I'm taking that color again. I don't know how you pronounce it or Bordo. I really don't know how you say it so I'm not even gonna bother but I'm gonna take that color and it's a really pretty like mm, it's like a mauvey brown color and I'm going to apply that again on the outer corners of the eye and I'm bringing that slowly inwards again just because I don't want it to be too intense I really want it to be nice and soft and then after that I'm going to take this which is cafe latte it's a really pretty silver color I'm going to spray my brush a little bit because I do want it to be pretty intense so I'm applying that with a flat shader brush this is by um, pink martini I believe I will have it down below but I'm going to apply that and pack it onto the lids because I really want this to be intense since I'm going to keep the eyes kind of neutral for the rest of the remaining of time if that makes sense now I'm gonna take a wipey and I'm just going to clean up around the areas where I had a lot of fallout as you can see this eye looks a little bit crazy but don't worry I will fix it so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that up now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner I didn't do a super dramatic wing again because I kind of wanted this to be more on the soft side so I did a smaller wing than I usually would I actually usually bring it really high up and I make it really really thick but again, I just wanted something really soft. And then I take my eyelashes by Vegas Nay. These are the Grand Glamour Lashes. You guys know that these are like my holy grail lashes. And I'm going to apply that and just let them get a little bit tacky before we move on to the next step. Now I'm going to go in with this new NYX First Base Primer Spray. And I'm going to apply that all over my face. This is kind of like the Smashbox primer water. You apply this before anything, your foundation, and this is supposed to set your makeup. 
I really don't see much of a difference now that I've had my makeup on, but we're going to keep going. Now I'm going to move on to the Lumi Cushion Foundation. This has been my holy grail foundation. I think I've been using it for about two to three weeks straight without really changing it up because I really like the finish. I really like that a little bit goes a long way. I did buy a new shade, which is W5.5. As you can see, it does have a little bit more of yellow undertone, so I do have to bring it down to my neck, but I think it's a pretty color and I really, really like it. So sometimes I'll mix it with the other one that I have, which is N4, and it looks really, really pretty. So I'm just going to blend that down to my neck and then we're gonna move on to contouring. This is the new NYX Sculpts and Highlight Duo. As you can see, you get a darker shade and a lighter shade. This is in the color Cinnamon. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. It's a pretty cute tube. This is for highlighting and this is for contouring. So I'm going to take the lightest shade and I'm going to apply it where you, you know, where you normally highlight, which is underneath my eyes. At the beginning, I wasn't sure about the color just because it wasn't as light or as bright as I usually like my concealers to be when I'm going for the whole highlight thing. But I made it work, so I did apply that, like I said, underneath my eyes. I took it to the center of my forehead, and then I also took it down the bridge of my nose. And then I'll also be applying a little bit to my chin, and then to the cupid's bow, where those little lines are, whatever they're called. So I just took it everywhere, again, where you would highlight. Now for the contour, I'm going to hollow out my cheekbones, and then I'm also going to take that down to my jawline, so we can cover, you know, that double chin. I love doing this because it makes such a huge difference. And then I'm also going to take that to my forehead. Again, anywhere where you would bronze slash contour, you want to take this shade and just really get in there and contour everything. I really like the color. I think it has a really nice finish. And at the beginning, like I said, I wasn't too into it, but once I finish applying my makeup, I really like it. It hasn't you know crease on me or anything it looks really nice and I really really like the color so I'm just going to contour my nose as well since you know we're doing the whole shebang now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to work everything I did notice that I did start to set so make sure that you kind of work with it fast it wasn't hard to blend once I started to actually blend it in but it did set rather quickly and I wasn't expecting that um, I like to use the e.l.f. small sibling brush and I just like to really work it in. And then with my beauty blender, I blended everything that had to do with the highlighting. I just feel like it was easier for me to use the, the beauty blender for that purpose. So I just went ahead and blended everything underneath my eyes on my cupid's bow and then also on my forehead. But with that same sibling brush by e.l.f., I just pretty much blended everything. Again, you do want to work with it fast. As far as the bronzing color, because I felt like it was just trying to set in too quickly and I wasn't having that. So I did have to move very fast. You can always wet your brush with a little bit of Fix Plus just to move the product around. But I didn't really want to do that because again, it was my first time trying it out and I didn't want to mess it up. But as you can see, as I work it in, it does blend out really nicely. I personally like this color. It's not your ideal contour color, but it's a really pretty bronzing warm color. And I like it for those days that you want to be a little bit extra. And I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that out and make sure that I don't have any harsh lines before I make sure that I set everything. Now I'm going to take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Bronzer and this is in Deep Dark I believe. I really like it because it matches that contour stick that I just used. So I bronzed up my face using one of these dupes or fakes, whatever you call it, of the Real Techniques. And then to set the concealer I use the Shade and Light palette and I use the Banana Shade. As you can see it really does make a difference. I really like how it looks. This side looks a lot more brighter. Then before you know, I applied the actual setting powder. I've been really into this, and I set everywhere where I highlight it. I'm gonna take the new CoverGirl True Blend 
blush. I don't know the name, but I will have it down below. I really liked it. It was pretty pigmented. I was really satisfied with it. It's actually more of a mauve wine color, you know, versus how it seems on the camera. But I really liked how it looked. It's really pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. I'm going to go in with the Glow Kids by Anastasia Beverly Hills with this big fan brush. And I'm going to be taking Dripping Gold, I believe, and I apply that to the highest points of my cheekbones. Um, I'm kind of bummed out, honestly, by this product. I thought it was okay. I was expecting a lot more. I thought it was going to be like super, you know, bam in your face highlight. I've never tried Anastasia highlights before. This was my first time and I don't know that I now want to buy her other highlights that she has on the single compacts. If you guys really like those, let me know. But honestly, I wasn't blown away by this highlight. I thought it was okay. I actually like my Luxie highlight better and those are like way cheaper. This one was 40 bucks for the four of them, which they are pretty big. But again, I just, I wasn't blown away. I'm going to take the new CoverGirl Mascara and this is the Pump Pumpify Mascara and this is what it looks like. The wand is actually really big, like super big, but I really do like it. I felt like my eyelashes look so long as you can see here. Separated them really nicely and I was happy. I liked it. So now we're going to move on to the lip lipsticks. These are the new NYX lingerie. As you can see, it has a doe foot applicator. It's really flat, which makes application really easily. Or really easy to apply there's so many shades there's different colors there's some that I totally didn't like and there's some that I loved honestly the majority of them were amazing they dry completely to a mat I've had one on for about four hours and I really like it it hasn't budged it's really pretty it's not over drying on the lips it has a really creamy texture like this satin ribbon wasn't my favorite and baby doll wasn't my favorite either as you can see I just those they're colors that just don't go well with my skin tone so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you get to pick up some new NYX lipsticks they're really awesome I highly recommend them I've seen them only at the NYX website so yeah I hope you guys pick them up and let me know how you like them thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye